A whistle is actually a musical instrument. How would you use that musically? Beyond me. But a white whistle, now that's a second grade artifact that can only be used by their original owner. So spoiler alert, I'm not Rico's mom. Welcome to Music and Anime, I'm Ab, and I'll be unboxing for you today Liza's White Whistle. This is a replica that I've been waiting about a year for and finally got it, and it was definitely worth the wait. But before we get into this, the song of the day is coming to us from, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing this, Yuria, and they say Vaughn by Yoko Kano featuring Arnor Don. Now, if you're not familiar with Yoko Kano already, please check out her music. And Arnor Don, he's an Icelandic musician. And this song is actually in Icelandic as well. This song was played in the Ferris wheel scene from the anime Zankyo no Teroru. The English name for that anime is Terror in Resonance. Now, this is an anime that I've actually had my eye on for a while, I haven't yet seen. Now, if you listen to this song and you really want to understand the lyrics, because why wouldn't you? On his channel, he has the lyrics both in Icelandic and in English in his description. So I'll link that below so you can definitely check out the song and read the lyrics as well. Thank you, Yuria, for sharing that with us. And if you want one of your favorite anime songs or pieces um, to be highlighted here as well, just comment down below with song of the day and you can see that in a future video. Now moving on to why you're here, the white whistle. We're going to take a look at this from before I defiled it earlier. Now, I really love the packaging. Um, you can see it's all Japanese text, that there on the top left. Um, pretty sure that says Made in Abyss. Actually, if you look a lot closer, it actually says it in English, Made in Abyss. I didn't realize that. I have a big image of the white whistle there, and it is made by Q's Q, which has also made a couple of other Made in Abyss figures. There's one of Nanachi. I think she's uh, pulling a fish out of um, out of the water with that one. Now we can look at the sides here, just again, a whole bunch of uh, Japanese text with, it's made with PVC and ABS plastics there, um, and warnings saying, uh, you know, you have to be 15 years of age or older, because if you're 14, you might inhale this. Now, another thing on one of the other sides here, it's got an official Karokawa sticker there, so you know it's legit. And on the back, we have another image there of the white whistle, more text, and you see that it comes with a necklace there as well. So opening this, the packaging is very, very simple. It's just nothing but a bunch of plastic there. And yeah, it has this uh, plastic covering on the very top. Just remove that. It's in the plastic there. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's it. That is the white whistle right there. The necklace portion of it, it's a, it feels very strange. It's, um, it's like a plasticky, not quite leathery feel to it. Yeah, it's very strange. The detail on the white whistle itself, though, is very nice. I like that the whistle is actually hollow, and you can see through the keyhole there. It's, uh, it's very nice. But yeah, looking into some images to use for this video here, I discovered pretty late that there are other replicas for the other white whistles, for Ozins and also Bondrudes, which, I mean, can we talk about Bondrude for a second? Like, when he showed up in the anime, I was like, this dude looks so cool. He reminded me of, um, there's this game called Dark Void on the PS3 that came out a while ago. I wish it was a better game, but that's besides the point. The way that character looks, I mean, it is just like one for one, you know, has the same kind of helmet, light down the middle, looks really cool. So it was really awesome to see a character like that in an anime and just like, ugh, and it's such a good one as well. But yeah, why do you have to be the evil, man? I was like, come on. Like when I saw him, I was like, please do not be a bad guy. I want to like you. And then, of course, we get the whole, you know, Nanachi and Midi backstory. And my God, I hate his guts. I hate him so much, but God damn, he looks so cool. <laughs> I still want his white whistle. Like, I, I do. I don't care. It's a pretty badass looking white whistle as well. Um, and yeah, if it's the same quality and whatnot, I mean, all the more reason to add it to my collection. So hopefully, uh, I really don't know if Rice Stuff is planning on getting the other white whistles as well. But if you do, I mean, let me know because I'm definitely interested in that. I'm just gonna go ahead and rock this, uh, oh Jesus, hold up, I'm having a difficult time. My hair, god damn it. I cannot wait to edit this later, cause god damn, oh man, it's harder than I remembered it being. Come on, I could, you wanna, there we go, hey, alright, got it. <laughs> alright, cool. Now this is not the only Made in Abyss merch that I have and that I will show you because 
a while ago, when this was on the market, I picked up the Made in Abyss Special Edition. I'll just show you this right now and talk as I'm showing you with the B-roll, and there it is, right? Now this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Sentai Filmworks went ahead and put this together, and I love them for it. I really love what they did with the styling of this Special Edition, because that whole exploration type, you know, Indiana Jones-esque uh, chest, I love that aesthetic. But yeah, the art in it is incredible, and if you're familiar with the manga at all, which has some questionable illustrations regarding some of these characters. Anyway, if you look at any of the covers for the manga and the art on the inside of them, you get some similar art there on the right side of the inside here, and also the background surrounding uh, Rico Reg and Nanachi on the left there. Got Nanachi's hut in the background, it's very nice. Now, the extras box, it has this really nice material that it's made with, and it's actually very spacious on the inside, which I was thankful for, in, and I'll let you know in a bit why. It comes with an acrylic phone stand with Nanachi on there, which let me know if Nanachi is also one of your favorite characters. It also came with a lanyard that says Made in Abyss. It actually has a white whistle charm on there, so I'll put that side by side with the White Whistle replica that we just got here. So you can take a look at that. The detailing on both of these things is very nice. That is a lanyard. And then the best thing in here is a replica of the map of the Abyss. In the language that they have there and everything. You can see there the depths of the Abyss. And this is just so nice. It's also made with this very nice fabric. Uh, almost like, like a very nice tote bag or something. It's like that same kind of material. Now the booklet that this comes with, it has a very nice watercolor-like colors on there. Um, you have images and some text on each episode. We have a picture here of Liza herself rocking the white whistle. And Liza, if you didn't know, it, we just, this is very, you know, beginning episode one type stuff. Uh, she's Rico's mom. Rico is one of the characters that we follow in Made in Abyss, and Liza is her mom. And she's given the white whistle for Reasons I won't say here. Check the anime out. It's a very good anime. Trust me on that. Be ready to like cry a little bit though. This this one, it, it definitely got me a little bit, like for sure. It, something's really gotta, really gotta work to, you know, get tears out of me and whew, this one, this one did that for sure. On the Blu-ray itself, uh, this might be some very small detail that, you know, you might not care about or whatever, but the back of it, where it says like disc one, disc two, and all that, it is different from the standard Blu-ray release. So take that for whatever it is. If you do care about that detail, let me know so I don't think I'm the only crazy one. So <laughs> yeah. So that's everything that's in the special edition there. But what I really like about the extra space in the extras box is because further down the road, when the movies came out in theaters, which is Journey's Dawn and Wandering Twilight, there was actually a theater near me at the time that was playing Journey's Dawn. And it was great because I went to Anime Boston, which was awesome. And this was, this was in 2019. So the last convention I went to, <laughs> the last time I went to a uh, convention, which, oh my God. Let me know what was the last convention you went to, and we'll reminisce about that together. You know what I mean? Anyway, it was awesome because went to the convention, and then a few weeks later, I would go to see Journey's Dawn in theaters, and there was a goodie bag that they had for us at the theater. I'll show you the contents of that now. Now, the goodie bag itself says Made in Abyss right on it, Journey's Dawn. It's all black, very simple. Uh, we also got cards for Journey's Dawn and the next movie, Wandering Twilight. On the back of them, they're both the same. You know, it's like your regular postcard type things. It's made in abyss. Got some stars on there. Very nice. What was really neat about this, um, at the convention, they had the same card for Journey's Dawn, but the back was different. The back had a promotion for the movie in theaters and whatnot. So yeah, that's very nice. But aside from those cards, the goodie bag also came with a lanyard. The last thing it also came with was a button or, you know, a pin. And speaking of pins, one thing I picked up at the convention as well was this Made in Abyss pin set. It comes with three characters on there. It's a uh, Reg, Rico, and in the middle there, it's supposed to be Nanachi. If you're wondering where that one is, it's actually on the lanyard uh, that I got from the Journey's Dawn movie, which you can see Nanachi chilling right there, looking adorable. So that way, when I wear the lanyard, Nanachi is very close to my heart, 
Because, yeah, much love to Nanachi. She needs it, man. So that's all I got for Made in Abyss merch. I wish I had more. And I haven't seen the new movie. You could have bought a ticket online last year to watch it and stream it. And I unfortunately couldn't watch it at the time that it was up. But, not the end of the world, there's a steelbook coming out which has all three of the movies. It has Journey's Dawn, Wandering Twilight, and Dawn of the Deep all in one steelbook. And the art on the steelbook looks super nice. I can't wait to have that one on the shelf sitting next to all this and experiencing whatever Dawn of the Deep has to uh, offer me, which I'm going to be going into that one already on the edge of my seat because I know it's surrounding Bondrood and whatever. I don't know. I'm just, after how season one ended and everything, I'm terrified. So, but with everything out of the way, I love the addition of the white whistle. I'm going to put this right on my shelf where I have my Made in Abyss special edition right in front of it, just like that. If Pumpkaboo doesn't have a problem with it, then we're good. You know, he and I are still friends. And that's it for this video. Please let me know if you're also interested in picking up this white whistle or if you have it already and what you think about the series if you've seen it. I absolutely love it and I want to know what you guys think about it. What were your favorite parts? What did you dread about it? Um, what do you find interesting about the world of Made in Abyss? And how much do you also love the music if you love the music? I mean, Kevin Penkin, what an amazing job he did with this series. And I still hate the fact that I do not have the record in my collection. I want to believe me the day I get that. The day it's in my collection and the day I sit down and just listen to that entire. Whew, I cannot wait for that. I can't wait. From whenever that happens but whenever it does i will share that with you as well so <laughs> also don't forget to share a song of the day and give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already and keep on listening to the music that make these anime so great i will see you on the next video thank you